A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram was ninety years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God the Almighty. Walk in my presence and be blameless. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you, that you must keep. Every male among you sh shall be circumcised. God further said to Abraham, As for your wife Sarai, do not call her Sarai. Her name shall be Sarah. I will bless her and I will give you a son by her. Him also will I bless. He shall give rise to nations, and rulers of people shall issue from him. Abraham prostrated himself and laughed, as he said to himself, Can a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Or can Sarah give birth at ninety? Then Abraham said to God, Let but Ishmael live on by your favor. God replied, Nevertheless, your wife Sarah is to bear you a son, and you shall call him Isaac. I will maintain my covenant with him as an everlasting pact to be his God and the God of his descendants after him. As for Ishmael, I am heeding you, I hereby bless him. I will make him fertile, and I will multiply him exceedingly. He shall become the father of twelve chieftains, and I will make of him a great nation. But my covenant I will maintain with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you by this time next year. When he had finished speaking with him, God departed from Abraham. Responsorial Psalm See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. See the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fear the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And then a leper approached, did him homage, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I will do it. Be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately, and then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer a gift that Moses prescribed, and will be proof for them. What might hold us back from approaching the Lord Jesus with expectant faith and confidence that He can change us 
and make us holy. Perhaps fear, pride, and the risk of losing one's reputation or friends. Jesus did something which was both remarkable and unthinkable at the same time. He approached the unapproachables. He touched the untouchables. Lepers were outcasts of society. Their physical condition was terrible as they slowly lost the use of their limes and withered away with open sores over their entire bodies. They were not only shunned, but regarded as already dead, even by their relatives. The Jewish law forbade anyone from touching or approaching a leper, lest ritual defilement occur. The leper who came to Jesus did something quite remarkable. He approached Jesus confidently and humbly, expecting that Jesus could and would heal him. Normally, a leper would be stoned or at least warded off if he tried to come near a rabbi. Jesus not only grants the man his request, but he demonstrates the personal love, compassion, and tenderness of God in his physical touch. The medical knowledge of his day would have regarded such contact as grave risk for incurring infection. Jesus met the man's misery with compassion and tender kindness. He communicated the love and mercy of God in a sign that spoke more eloquently than words. He touched the man and made him clean, not only physically, but spiritually as well. Let us pray. May the power of your love, Lord Jesus, fiery and sweet as honey, so absorb our hearts as to withdraw them from all that is under heaven. Grant that we may be ready to die for love of your love, as you died for us of our love. Amen. Amen.